after his career night at Pfizer Forum. Hey, Fred. Uh, Dan Wicke with the Los Angeles Times. Well, can you just kind of take us through, not necessarily hour by hour, but what your schedule has been like since this craziness started and how you've managed to stay standing up? Yeah, as long as you promise this is the last time I got to tell this story. All right. Uh, yeah, so obviously, um, you know, my girl has been pregnant for a while and uh, the due date was May 31st. So we knew that it would be close. We knew that it would be around this time. And my first daughter came three weeks early. So we were expecting it to be any day now, uh, Monday morning. And I thought I had a nice day off at home in Toronto. I got the call that uh, her water broke and uh, I started, you know, rumbling around trying to find if I could get on a plane. So made it made it to Rockford at about 3 p.m. and spent the day at the hospital and baby boy came um, Monday night at 9.30. So, you know, doing through all that whole process and stayed at night. Um, if anybody has kids before, you know, getting discharged is a whole nother adventure, trying to leave the hospital. And so they were, they were stuck up there for a while with the baby getting checked out and I stayed uh, Tuesday, uh, stayed in the morning, flew back, got to Toronto at two or three try to take a little nap and head it to the arena for, for game uh, four. And, uh, you know, flew for game four, uh, flew back here yesterday, and I took a car down to uh, Rockford yesterday night, and they were still in the hospital, so I spent the night at the hospital last night, and we were fortunate enough to get discharged this morning, so drove down to uh, Milwaukee this afternoon and took another nap, if that's what you call it, and, you know, laced them up again here for game five, so... It's been a, a frantic week, but you know that's that's what makes all this stuff worth it. Fred Michael Grange from Sportsnet. So so that's the formula. That's the key. Zero sleep. <sighs> hey, three I days. guess zero sleep. Have a lot of babies, <laughs> and uh, go out there and let loose. No, but you know, uh, in the middle of all that stuff, you guys know it's been a, a rough playoff stretch. Shooting the ball for me, and everything else has been fine in my opinion. But just shooting the ball has been a little rough and. You know, I, I still find time to get quick workouts in here and there. I, um, whatever we left yesterday, I, I hadn't slept much, and I still got a workout in before we got on the team playing. So just keep trusting the work and trusting your craft and knowing that at some point they're going to drop. And a lot of times how it works is they all come at once, and I think that's what you've seen. So just got to bottle it up and, and put some games together. Uh, what would you say about tonight's game in terms of it was almost like two different games. Like the first three quarters, you had Kawhi looked to really be. There was a lot of balance there offensively, and then it's nice to have him to yeah. pick it up in the fourth when uh, yeah. when things get tight. Yeah, I think that uh, they came out and punched hard and, and quick early, and we knew that that that's what they were going to do. But you know, we just had to try to weather the storm and understand that it's a game of runs, and we've been battle tested. We've been in tough games. We Philly really tested us. Um, even Orlando made us work pretty hard for those wins. So we understand you know how long a playoff game is and. and and you can work yourself back in. So I thought we did a good job just distributing the ball. Everybody was chipping in. And then fourth quarter, you know you know whose time it is for that. And, uh, you know, Mark hit a crazy big three at the end after I think he was probably 0 for 5 at that point. Um, you know, a couple other guys made some big plays. But at the end of the day, to have a guy like that to, to close him out is uh, is what you need. And, and he understands that. We understand that. And we kind of shift and that's what you've seen this year we can win a lot of different ways and you have to you have to have a lot in your toolbox uh, Alex Gary from your hometown Rockford paper uh, you know thanks for being in the NBA so I can come to these games <laughs> <laughs> that's your uh, question <laughs> that, no that's just a thank you um, you're shooting 80 percent from three in uh, Fred Jr's lifetime so how do you keep that going uh, hopefully into next week uh you know just keep bottling it up like i said obviously uh it's turned around for me a little bit these last two games i've gotten more feels like i'm getting more better looks and more open looks and as you make them your teammates start to look for you more and more and the game just kind of opens up all at once so just staying confident staying in there you know ready to knock them down when i get the opportunity and uh you know just staying locked in so i'm um, still not giving them all the credit in the world but uh you know he's probably helped me out a little bit Fred, Matt Cullen from CBC Radio Canada. Third year now on the team, and in each year, your role has grown a little bit more. Now you're one win away from the NBA Finals. Just hearing that, what are some of the thoughts that come to mind? Uh, just to take advantage of the opportunity. I think that being tied up 2-2 to have a great opportunity here to come in here and try to steal one, 
was on our minds. And um, obviously being one win away, um, going home, you just want to take advantage of the opportunity. It, it would be a very, very long summer, you know, thinking about what could have been or what you could have done. And so we just got to go out there and have no regrets. And I think that we did a great job of that tonight, laying it all on the line, staying locked in, weathering those runs, and being able to bounce back. So like you said, one win away from the finals, it sounds pretty good to me. I'll take those those chances. And, um, you know, we got to go out there and try to take take advantage of the opportunity. Fred, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Kawhi was a little bit of everything tonight. When you look at the tape, what kind of things will you look for and remember from his game in in game five? Yeah, I think uh, – I don't, I don't know his stats for the last four games, but I think tonight his three ball opened up a little bit. It just felt like he had a little more lift on his shot. And, and when he's shooting the, the three like that, he's unguardable. There's, there's no chance for anybody. And uh, I think that that kind of opened the floor up for him. He had some big, big shots. And he was getting to his spots, and I think they doubled a little bit less. It just felt that way. Obviously, I haven't watched the film yet. I don't think they sent quite as much on the double. They were collapsing when he got in the paint, but um, he gave it to you in every which way. He rebounded. He made big defensive plays. He's guarding Giannis at the end of the game. He's getting rebounds. He's getting steals and making big free throws. And and um, you know he kicked a couple out that were big too. So anytime he he chooses to, to get the rest of us involved, it's going to bode well for our offense. And the rest of us got to be ready to step up and knock him down. Thank you.